After spending the night in the city of Rodadero, we went to Minca. It is located in the Sierra Nevada mountains above the city of Santa Marta, and I'm very happy to be in the peaceful mountains. Colin booked a great hotel and we are happy with the room. I especially like that it has hot water for my showers. We enjoyed the comfortable beds and I never encountered any bugs. Nevertheless, we were happy that the room has mosquito netting just in case. This is somebody's office here. How would you like to have your office right here? Yo creo eso es de lo más, <laughs> más buena oficina en todo el mundo. <laughs> I never tire of the dramatic view of the valley. ¿Cómo se llama? Yo, vengo Pablo. Pablo, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Pablito, desde aquí, desde Minca. Oh, okay. Desde Salvador, saludándolo, hola. Some people get to live full time in this paradise. How's this for a relaxed cat? Is he even alive? Uh, look at this guy. Everywhere we went in Minka, we encountered hummingbirds. Given their numbers, I suspect that Minka might be the hummingbird capital of the world. <laughs> They're so close, they don't have, they don't have any fear. We saw other birds as well, and all of them were fascinating to watch. A restaurant with a great view of the valley was part of the hotel complex. Breakfast was included with our stay. There were several options, but we mostly ate traditional American-style food. There was a dramatic view of the valley from the deck of the restaurant. Day and night, we could see the city of Santa Marta in the distance. A small river runs through town, and not surprisingly, it's called the Rio Minca. It is a nice river, but I didn't see any fish. Early on, we discovered a really great Spanish restaurant. This discovery was a special part of the Minca experience. We enjoyed a great meal that cost us 50,000 pesos, including tax and tip. In dollars, that's only $18. That's a real bargain for the food and the ambiance together. It was like dining in the jungle. Before eating, I went down the famous garden path, and along with beautiful gardens, I encountered some modern things like solar-powered lights. But this is, it looks like an archaeological dig. <laughs> Are you often kidding about romancing the stone? Boy, here's the stone. That's a pretty big stone. You get an idea how big it is. Uh, show you some of the vegetation here. Of course, those leaves are huge, too. There's a uh, more normal flower. A glass of sangria. A glass of sangria wine is a pleasant addition to our meal. It is not just the food and drink that was great. The gardens and being in nature was also a treat. If I lived in Minka, I would be a frequent eater here. While we were eating, I saw a beautiful butterfly come into view. He landed close by and I hoped he would stay still long enough for a photo. Not only did he stay still, he spread his wings as if to say, here's a photo op for you. <laughs> Let me see. Coca tea, oh, it's excellent. Yeah, Coca tea. I had it's it very healthy. in Ecuador. Uh, bedroom, and we had canteen, salmon, we had all the choices. All, all the options, right? Very good. Wow. 
But when I came back, I was so surprised. This place, Minka, you can not even ask Colombia. At least we have peace. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because, yeah, I'm Colombia, but when I came back, I saw that Colombian people are really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Because we have to go through many, many things to war with guerrilla, drug dealers, and and losing uh, the family, no opportunity, and still the people is good. And I said, wow. Well, uh, when I came back, I was, I'm so proud of Colombia, yeah. from the people. Your daughter? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? Daniel. Daniel. Uh -huh. And señor? Jorge. 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 Mucho, gusto. Mucho gusto. Come on. During the rainy season, the rains come each day in the late afternoon. The soothing sound that they produce is nice for that afternoon siesta. The next morning, the sun was out and we were back on the road, this time heading for the coastal city of Barranquilla. Wow, that is narrow. Avoid it at all costs. Hey, we're up. Oh, hey, where's Juan Valdez? <laughs> no, that should be a sign with a 